Hello, this is J.W. Greenbaum bringing you Gaining an Edge, the show where we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. So underneath the camera today, we have a very interesting knife, and that is the Civivi Vision FG. So in case you are wondering, in case this might look a little bit familiar to you, this, is, this actually started out as a Wii Knives uh, collaboration with uh, Snacks, the knife designer. Uh, it was a little bit different then, but it was called the Wii Snacks, and it had a thumb slot rather than thumb studs. Uh, it did not have this jimping on the lock mechanism. I'll get back to that in a minute. And it also had a very different pocket clip that actually came up and over the back rather than much more conventionally like there. So this is actually a really, really unique and unusual knife. And by the way, this is also a Snacks collab right there designed by Snacks. So uh, yeah, just a fascinating, fascinating knife, but I will get to that in a moment. Let's take our measurements. Uh, starting with uh, your, oops, uh, sorry about that. Starting with your blade, and that is going to come in at just over three and a half inches. Now, as far as overall length, we are coming in at almost exactly eight inches. So, yeah, it's kind of a long knife, but eh, actually it carries rather well. So let's get out our, oh, I'm sorry about the clock, but uh, let's get out our scale. And uh, feels rather substantial. You've got these holes, obviously. But uh, yeah, it weighs 4.12 ounces. So some people might say that's heavy. I don't think so, but uh, just saying. Let's turn the uh, scale off and get out our Kaiser Knives denim knife roll with which to do our pocket test. Now, yeah, this thing has a very interesting lock mechanism, but I will get to that in a second. Um, this is fully ambidextrous. You, all you need to do is reverse the, uh, the pocket clip and you can actually, it, it, it's exactly the same experience for a right-hander and a left-hander. Um, the pocket clip is a little bit stiff for some reason, but it does carry well, and it is deep carry, and you do also get a um, a lanyard. No, no, you don't get a lanyard hole. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, you get a lanyard post right there. I think you can see that right there. So, with that out of the way, let's do our size comparison test. Uh, first up, we are going to get out our... Ontario Knives Rat Model 1. It's actually very similar, in my opinion, to the Rat Model 1. It's a little bit smaller, but yeah, that th those general lines from the Rat 1. Um, let's get out our Ontario Knives Rat Model 2, and yeah, that's pretty much dwarfed. So let's get out our token Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. This one is the Crew Air and Micarta version. It's actually very similar tip to butt um, in, com in comparison to that, although it obviously, yeah, it's top to bottom rather different. Um, let's get out our token large EDC knife, the Cold Steel Recon 1. That's going to dwarf it, as you can see. And uh, that, of course, will bring us to the suit. Yeah. Our own knife, Night Claw, the knife we use to measure top to bottom, and actually, yeah, this is a little bit taller than you might think. Um, it looks slender, but it's not really all that slender. And finally, everybody's favorite toenail clipper, the Kershaw platform, which is right there. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh well. Anywho, let's, uh, so let's get into this knife. So this has something called the Snex Super Lock as its locking mechanism. It's actually very interesting. It's sort of reminiscent of the Demco Knives Shark Lock, but it is uh, the same concept, different execution. So let me just pull this back. It's very, very easy to close. And you can see that this basically interfaces with uh, the lock bar, which in turn interfaces with this. So yeah, insofar as that, um, it actually is kind of a similar concept. But you can also, um, you've got this 
little thing right there, you just pull it back and you can go. You can also deploy it with this if you just like that. So yeah, very, very cool lock mechanism on this. Very, very durable, sturdy lock mechanism as well. Um, this one has my car to handle skills. You can get them in Ultim and I believe G10 as well. Um, we are also looking at something that has a pretty good blade steel on it, I think. That is Nitro V. I Hold on. Oh, where, where, where does it say? Oh, goodness. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so it does indeed say Nitro V where my fingernail is. Yeah, okay. I hope you can see that, but yeah, it's... It's Nitro V blade steel, so yeah, you are getting a very, very good blade steel. It's obviously ground very thin behind the edge to your typical Civivi, and one thing that I really, really like, if you follow the continuously swept cut cutting edge, yeah, you will notice that you can use this with a cutting board. This surface, er, th this basically can touch any surface going straight across, and your fingers are not going to just get plowed into the cutting surface, so that's really cool. I really appreciate that. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because one of the complaints about the original Wii version was that the pocket clip was just too wonky. So them adding a standard pocket clip on this actually really makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I may have preferred the thumb hole on the Wii version, but uh, the thumb studs get it done. And also, there were some people that said they'd, they wanted jimping here uh, in practice. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but it's nice to have. So, yeah, this is your Civivi Vision FG, and it is a fascinating knife. Um, it's a good EDC knife, good for a lot of stuff. So, look, believe it or not, it's a very good hard user. And the great thing about this is that you get Nitro V and a very, very strong lock mechanism along with a fully ambidextrous knife, and this costs you 80 bucks. That's actually a very good deal. And honestly, I think this is one of Civivi's better values. Uh, at least of late. It's ironic because it dropped with a knife that I think is one of their poorer values that they've ever dropped, but uh, I'll get to that much, much later, not in this episode. So let's take a look at how it slices because it is ground very well and it is very thin behind the edge, as you might expect for a Civivi. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is a nice slicer. And as you can see here, there is no trouble at all. You can actually get this in several different variants uh, regarding the handle uh, and the blade. I, I remember the, uh, the satin bladed ones sold out almost immediately, so I got one of the, uh, the black coated blades. I'm not going to do any food prep with it. It doesn't really make much difference to me, but uh, there you go. And they are all $80 except for the Damascus version, which I think is over $100, which, you know, that's par for the course for Civivi. So just a very, very cool, very functional knife. And yes, it, it as fidget friendly as this is, it is very easy to be applied to a hard use uh, capacity. Uh, you can do much more than slice down cardboard with this. You could also whittle with this. You could do a lot of stuff that you might want to do with uh, like a Seki City backlock or even a, a cold steel um, triad lock. I mean, I'm not saying it's as strong as, strong as the triad lock, but I am saying that it is very strong. So, yeah, just something that you probably will want to keep in mind. Now, uh, let's slice our packing peanut with this. And it just glides right through it. Great. And uh, the other thing I have to say about this is the ergonomics are wonderful. So before anybody asks, no, this is not a problem because you can see how your hand just kind of goes over it naturally. And yes, you can choke up on this and your hand still goes over it naturally. So that's actually really cool how they thought that out. Uh, again, your price on this is $80. I think that's a wonderful value for what you're getting. Nitro V, great lock, um, full ambidextrous. So, uh, 
yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. So this has been JW Greenbaum, having brought you Gaining an Edge, the show we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you could comment, I'd be very grateful. If you could subscribe, I'd also be very grateful, and I will do a subscriber giveaway as soon as possible. The only problem is my life has been super busy, so the Spyderco Military 2, Rosecraft Blades, Little River Ben Skinner, and the merch that, well, not merch, the, uh, the swag that I'm going to give away, yeah, that's going to have to wait. But uh, I do hope to do it this week, so please stay tuned. This has been JW Greenbaum, having brought you Gaining an Edge, signing off and wishing you a great day.